I'm Corey Baker, and I'm a computer engineer. I'm a military kid, so every four years I was usually moving around. My dad was in the Marines for 21 years. He was a mechanic, so he always kind of put me in the space to touch things that had us working on vehicles at a very young age. But when I got to college, I actually didn't know what engineering was at all, but I knew that I was always doing things with computers, and I liked math, and that's how computer engineering and computer science kind of came about. A professor at a Research One institution like University of Kentucky, you teach classes, and then you also are responsible for conducting research. My research area is in opportunistic communication, which is creating connectivity or establishing connectivity when you don't have, say, the internet or the cloud available. When you think about what happens in, when a natural disaster occurs, you have the weather hits and knocks down cellular towers and knocks down power. How can you leverage opportunities between people, mobile devices, vehicles to fulfill some type of network situation? Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to be presenting on my research. The lab right now is five graduate students. How can we use... They're working on different projects in the research area of opportunistic communication and I help guide and mentor them. One of my students, she's doing the rural Appalachia medical cancer patient monitoring. There's limited access to the internet, there's limited access to such network infrastructure. There's been millions of dollars spent trying to create broadband communication out there and it's just so expensive. So if we can find a way to improve communications both between the patient and their doctors, that would be much better for the patient. It is an industrial drone that's mostly used for precision agriculture. Another one is doing UAV networks or the drones. This drone has about a three mile flight range from the rope ground station. With the drone communication, can you put drones in certain places to help create communication? By having a fleet of drones with communications between them, you're able to get much further away from the ground control station. If you ever use an application or use a device and you were like, this could be better, or I wish it can do this, if you ever ask those questions, then I think you have the right mindset to kind of enter the field.